Alright guys, well I am back today with another DIY body armor, or kind of a homemade body armor video. And if you've been following my channel since the very beginning, you know I like to do these really budget, simple, homemade body armor videos out of all different types of material. And a lot of times they're surprisingly very successful. It's always a fun thing to do for me to try to put a hodgepodge of materials together that you can find at your local hardware store or grocery store, and make some armor that can actually stop a bullet and actually stop multiple bullets. So today we're doing Dollar Tree body armor and I've been wanting to do this video for a while so I finally went into the Dollar Tree and I told myself I was only gonna spend about five to eight dollars and try to come up with some body armor that could stop handgun rounds. So I think I may have something, let's show you what I bought. Now remember, don't rely on this, don't try this, you'll definitely die. This is for fun and entertainment purposes only. So the first thing in any good homemade body armor video is a nice solid book. And I found this really large book, which is almost the size, or probably even a little bit larger than a standard plate and a plate carrier. So that is gonna be the backing of the body armor, really to catch the bullets. The next thing is some duct tape to hold it all together. I probably need one roll, but I grabbed two just in case. A baking pan, and the reason why I bought the baking pan is this is flimsy, nothing, it's not gonna stop anything. But, if you've seen some of my other videos where gravel has actually stopped the bullet, what I wanna do is line this baking pan with these flat stones, decorative stones from the Dollar Tree. So, I got a two pack of glue for a dollar, so I'm gonna line the baking pan, stick all of these stones to the baking pan as the strike face. That way the stones, you know, probably in theory should fragment and slow down the bullet. Then the book behind it should catch it. We'll duct tape it all together and see if this actually works. All right, let's open up these bags and take a look at these stones. All right, looks like it's good. I got two bags to completely cover this. Now I'm gonna layer it with glue and stick these on. All right, so we have the glue evenly distributed. Now we're gonna lay down the stones. Now that I have all the stones in place, I'm gonna to try to fill up the shallow spots or the spots where it may look like stones haven't got in 100% with the little extra ones, just to make sure. I may have to take some of these other ones out and smash them and kind of crunch them in the places where I see a spot that's not filled all the way. Got some of the broken pieces that I've been laying down in here for any spot that looks like a round might slip through and then I think we're just gonna sit and let this dry for a while. Well I've let this dry it's actually been about a day and a half I've been working on that torture test video the AR-15 so go check that out but it seems dry enough the rocks won't fall out they're locked into place and that's all I really wanted just something to hold the rocks in place so when they take the impact, they don't just drop down and fall everywhere. So I'm gonna place the book on the top and that should cover everything nicely. Then I'm gonna wrap it in duct tape. So this back pan will be the strike face. The rock should slow it down, I hope. And then the book should catch the rounds. So I finished up, it actually busted into the second round of duct tape, but I still have a lot left. You can see the strike face will be where the pan is with the rocks, and then the back will be the book. The only thing to do now is go down to the range, shoot this thing with a variety of pistol calibers, and see if it can actually stop a bullet. So I am down at the range, and I've got the strike face painted with this skull. My wife actually made that stencil on her cricket, so that's pretty cool. Just so I know which side is the strike face, and to kind of have some aiming reference points. So let's set this up and try it out and see if it can actually stop a bullet. You think it's going to work? Yeah, I think so. First up, 22 long rifle out of the Savage Bolt Gun. Hopefully it can stop a 22. Let's go check it out. So there's our entrance hole right in the eye. Let's flip it over and see, and yes, nothing went through, completely stopped the bullet. So far, so good. 
Next up, 9mm. And I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this Glock. This is the Glock facelift from Heavy Armor Division. Go check out that video. Alrighty, let's see if it can stop it. Let's go check. So, there's our hit. Uh, let's check and see. And it stopped it. So it's definitely bulging out a little bit back here. You can definitely feel it bulging, but it stopped the nine millimeter. So this is actually viable, but I wouldn't trust it with my life. Next up, 40 cal out of this Glock 22. Forehead shot. Square hit right to the forehead. Uh, and it stopped it. So definitely a bigger bulge than the nine millimeter, but it absolutely stopped the 40 cal. So this armor is doing really good. Next up, the big 45 ACP out of this FNX 45. Let's go check. Well, I hit left, so this is pushing the edge of the body armor. Let's see if it actually stopped it. Oh, and it did, but it bulged the side out. But it actually, there's no holes. It just ripped the seam right here. So it stopped the 45. Plus that was already weak from where the nine millimeter hit it. So I'm gonna call that a success. And the final pistol round, 357 Magnum out of the Salzermars SR38 imported by TR Imports. I'm doing a review on this pistol right now and I really like it. But let's see if this Dollar Tree body armor could stop a 357 Magnum. Let's go check it out. All right, another forehead shot where the armor is already weak. If this stops it, I'll be really impressed. Oh, and it did stop it. It started cracking the seam, but there is no holes. It actually stopped a 357 Magnum at a weak point. So this armor is doing great. So I realized I wasn't recording for this last set of shots. I'm sorry, guys. But what I was going to say is it stopped at 357 Magnum, and I had some 38 Specials in the car. So I just dumped six, a cylinder, a 38 Specials, into the body armor. I haven't checked it, so I'm going to take you guys with me and see if it actually stopped six 38 Special rounds after all the abuse before it. So you could see all of the hits right here in the center, three right beside each other. I doubt that it stopped them all, but let's see. Oh, I can't believe it. It stopped all of those. This thing is bulging and splitting on the sides, but absolutely nothing went through. This is really, really impressive. So the last shot of the day is 223556. I know this is going to go through. This was designed for pistol ammo, but I'm going to hit it with the 556 just to see what happens. Let's go check. All right, I'm pretty sure that's the 556 five, hole. I can actually feel bulging on this side, which is weird. And, yep, it finally went through. So the 556 five, finally punched through this and defeated the armor. So it looks like this can actually stop handgun rounds, but not rifle rounds. So I am incredibly impressed at how well this Dollar Tree body armor actually performed. It really stopped a ton of rounds, 9mm, 40, 22, 45 ACP, 357 Magnum, and six shots of 38 Special. So way beyond my expectations. The only thing that defeated it was the 556 five, round, and I kind of expected that. What I didn't expect is how much it stopped of the handgun rounds. But remember, don't try this at home because you could get seriously injured. And don't rely on this. I'm sure results vary depending on how you assemble something like this. I just did it for a fun video. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. And if you have, please check out my other ones and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.